Hi Leo, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind and what they're hiding from you. I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. At the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from this person. Now these are going to be things that you might want to hear, things you might not want to hear, and answers to questions you possibly have, but we will get that at the end. Now this is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. So please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, Ooh, currently in your present or coming up in your future. Leo, I'm seeing some good things already, but let's go ahead and jump right into this. The person on Leo's mind, show me what they are hiding from Leo. We have the seven of cups, the star, and then also the nine of pentacles, as well as the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I know I was in a pause. I had to really look at this because the good things that I saw coming out was like relationships and love, but there is also, I saw some stress and anxiety about it. I get that this person is trying to make the right choice. So they're hiding the fact that they have options. Okay. You may not be the only option. I'm not really picking up that this person is dealing with other people. They're really looking for the one. Okay. This is what I see. All right. That two of cups right there. It's like, if you want this, I want this because I feel very strongly about it. We both want the same thing. There's love there and exist, but they do have other options. Okay. Now the star card comes out as well. And I do want to clarify that more, but you know, they do have options, but there's a wish fulfillment that they want. Maybe you are that wish fulfillment. We'll have to dive into this a little bit deeper. And there's something about, you know, um, love sounds great, but I've been single for a while or I've been doing my own thing. I'm pretty independent. So your, your person is very independent. Here's the thing, Leo, this person with their independence can come off as loving. And then when they're busy and they focus on something, um, they put everything into that. So there might be times that you feel that your person is not giving you the attention that you need. And it's very important for you to know that their independence, you know, they just are strongly independent that way that they don't recognize sometimes whenever they are lacking, um, on maybe equality or affection in a relationship because they do focus on, on particular things. Um, I do see happiness here though. I do see love, uh, but just know Leo, some of you might've met this person online dating, or this is just new. Um, they do have other options. I don't want to say they're treating you as an option because I don't see that. It's more so that they are trying to find the one they want to spend their life with and the options they have, you being one of them, do... I want to be with Leo. Is this other person a good choice? Do I want any of these other options? So um, let's go ahead before we get too far into speculating, right? Let's clarify that seven of cups to see what's underneath it, right? Okay, so Leo, they do have other options. We do have the world card coming out as well as the ace of pentacles. Um, world card meaning they could have other options across the world, other relationships, uh, people of different, you know, talking to different people, 
Um, but this can also be a completion, like they're closing out the chapter because they want to see what happens with, you know, closing the chapter on the other options because they want to see what happens with you because they want to start a beginning. They want to plant that seed. Um, so it's like with those options, this chapter is complete, but just know they do have like an online profile. Um, I would just make sure, yeah, Leo, right. You got to protect yourself. You have to make sure that this person is not keeping anything from you. So if they have an online profile, um, I'd say watch them delete it. I and mean, you don't have to be like, you show me that you deleted it, but, um, just so that way there's no questions about, did you delete it? And then that starts things off with, you know, can I trust this person? Can I trust this situation? Um, so yes, the other options are different people, maybe even across the world, of course. However, when it comes to this, they are completing that chapter on looking for the one, like I said, because they do want to plant the seed with you and see what happens here and what comes of this. So let's go ahead and clarify the star. Yep. Okay. See, we have the sun. You're their wish fulfillment. Okay. The star and the sun is very beautiful. And the seven of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So you're their wish fulfillment. You make them really happy. They see a lot of growth with you, happiness, and what can come of this, that they're also very protective. Like they're willing to stand up and find the courage to fight for what they want. Um, guarded. They don't want anybody else's opinion about if they should be with you or not, they don't like people talking about you. It really upsets them. You know, I don't see this person getting aggressive here, but they stand their ground like you need to stop. This is who I want to be with. So, um, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify that nine of pentacles though, because that independence there is beautiful, but it can also, yeah, so money, and when they focus on building this garden that they have right here, um, it, it absolutely comes out exactly like I told you. And I, I'm just going to say it again. Um, page of Wands in reverse can be um, a recklessness, like doing things in a reckless way. So I get that this person has been independent so long on their own. They may not know how to take the initiative here and just explore where things are going to go in, in great lengths um, until they start thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And then they go, okay, I'm going to rush in. And that's what, <laughs> that's what they do. But there's also the fact that I'm, I'm going to tell you with their independence, it can cause recklessness to relationships. And that might be why they're single uh, because their focus can be like tunnel vision on work or whatever it is that they're doing. Now, if it's you and you are, they're tunneled in on you, they might give you a little too much attention, Leo, that you might be like, I need a moment. Um, so just, just know that, uh, let's go ahead and get some messages and find out what this person is holding back from telling you. The other thing about this is they don't want to just see where things go short term. Um, also, their independence and I'm going to say just the way that they are, they're so strong on their own that it can come off as not recognizing when they need to say something or do something or... It's, <laughs> there's no great way to explain that, but, um, I don't know. Maybe you're attracted to that Leo. Maybe you're like, Oh my God, they're not giving me the attention. I want to want more. Um, so I'm going to do this to get their attention. I don't know, but just know that they, they want to see where things go with you. Um, let's go ahead and get some messages. What is this person holding back from telling Leo? Whoa. There's also some healing that this person is doing um, with that star card. Just I mean, and the message is coming out. I'm seeing that they're doing some healing for their growth and it's personal. They also are not looking for anything short term. They're not just wanting to hook up and then. Yeah. Um, you got five messages. That came out, so I'm just going to take them. All right. 
mm, that last message I don't feel applies to you because of the fact that this person is choosing you. So it's just something that they're keeping from you. Maybe there was what person that they were talking to um, far away because I saw um, I left. Or, wait, let's let's just start where we're at. I can't stop thinking about you. All right, so you're constantly on this person's mind, even with those other options, because they have this strong connection with you and they feel that you're the one and you both want this. They're like, buy other people. I don't need you because Leo's all I think about. I'm becoming a better person. Maybe you've opened this person's eyes to spirituality or that, you know, something that they um, may have not seen within themselves you might have enlightened them or made them feel more and it because you do make this person happy and they they feel that you are their wish fulfillment and you give them joy um excitement and you are the sun so you are you know shining down on them making them feel warm and invited and just it makes them feel good so i bury myself in work to forget you. This is a thing that they hide. And it's, here's the thing about this. When they bury their self in work to forget you, I don't feel that it's to forget you. Like, I just don't want to talk to you, Leo. Um, this is, they get buried in work and then they will forget things. So just know you might not hear from them. There's a delay in something. Um, if you have dinner plans, date plans, whatever the case may be, give them a little bit of grace. Okay. Because they may forget because they get so consumed with their work and their independence. And they're like, Oh my gosh, I had something to do with Leo and I forgot. And I don't see it. Like I want to forget Leo. It's that. And that also could apply like the burying themselves in work to forget you. I don't feel that that's you. It feels more so like this other choice option that they have that they're closing the chapter with. Um, I left when I saw you with someone. So some of you, this person could have wanted to surprise you, saw you with someone and just kind of left like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And they don't know what to, to say. They don't know if they even have a place to say anything. Believe they're really about you. Um, but that that's the card that I was saying. I, I left when I saw you with someone, you know, them having other options and closing out that chapter and wanting to see where things go with you, there could have been the the weighing the pros and cons between you and another person. And when they saw them with someone, they were like, oh, forget that. I can't trust them. So I'm, I'm going to go with Leo. And it's not that you were a second choice. It's that they felt a strong connection with you and they felt something for someone else. And they're like, what do I do? So the universe stepped in and made the choice like, Hey, look, see this person's with someone else. Yeah. Leo's the one. So I look for you everywhere after that happens. Then they are like, Oh my gosh, I need Leo. I can't stop thinking about Leo. You know, Leo is, makes me feel good. I feel like a better person with Leo. Why would I want to be with someone that I feel I can't trust? So like I said, the universe, God stepped in and said, Hey, guess what? That other person isn't right for you. And I'm going to show you. And it may have been very innocent, but it would, it was enough to make them see it was not the right path for them. They needed to see where things were going to go with you because they felt a very strong connection with you or they do. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, so I couldn't let you get close to me. That's another thing. This person, because of their independence, I feel like they do close off when it comes to um, opening up to their softer sides or sensitive sides or emotional um, you know, sides and you will help them to keep growing and open up to those things um, that they just struggle with. So like I said, give this person a little grace and um, I wouldn't say let them walk all over you or anything like that, Leo. Definitely don't let that happen. Um, if they make a mistake, just say, okay, I'm accepting that. But next time, you know, whatever you're going to say next time, blah, blah, blah. Leo, you got this. I don't need to give you words on what you're going to say to them. <laughs> because you got it. You got that part. So, all right, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button and I will see you in your next reading coming up. Everyone have a good rest of your day. Bye.